Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and I thought I would do a quick update of my urban worm bag that I have here. I've been taking care of it for a while, but I haven't had many videos lately because I've been sort of busy, and I had updated my verma bag max, so I thought I should update this as well. So let's go to the bin, or the bag, and take a look here. So I've got it right here, and we're going to unzip it. I have fed this pretty recently, so it probably won't need any food, but I'm not sure, so we're going to open it up and check. So yeah, there's a little bit of moisture on the top here. So it's pretty moist in here. And as you can tell, there's food in there. It's been doing very well. Um, let's just see if the worms are, yep, the worms have moved into this food that I added probably a few days ago. So they've already moved in here. They're starting to consume it. And hopefully soon it'll be gone. Uh, this is, all this paper is a little bit wet that I have in here. The coffee grounds are sort of fresh, but that's okay. They're a little bit dry, but they'll they'll get worked in. Um, as you can tell, I also mentioned this with my other bin. I'm now using a mixture because I just have so much office paper right now at, at my house. So it's it's office paper and a uh, cardboard mixture that's in here, and that's what's going into these bins now. Um, the shredder that I have is working great for both of them. So let's just dig down a little bit further. Let's just take a little bit further look here. So there's a lot of carrots in here. It's, I'm seeing a lot of little tiny white bugs running across it, which is normal. I've seen these, um, what are they, probably springtails or something like that, or, but that's, that's normal. A little bit of an odor from the bin this time, not, not quite as, uh, odor-free as it has been, but I just fed it, you know, a few days ago. The paper on the edges is a little bit dry. I probably need to add a little bit of water to that, which I've been doing, that's every once in a while to keep it moist, but the center is perfectly fine. It's just the outsides that are a little bit dry. Some worms trying to get out, it looks like, you know, but we have had rain. I find that when it rains, a lot of worms seem to want to migrate. It's also a little bit maybe too moist in here in some areas and drier in others, and they want to dry out a little bit, which is one nice thing about these is that they can go back up the side and climb up. They can't get out, and they go right back down. So overall, it's working really well. I'm probably, I've got, what, a good six inches, let's say, from the top, five to six inches from the top here, and it's probably ready to start harvesting soon. So I'm probably gonna try that uh, in the coming weeks here, try harvesting from the bottom and see how that goes. It's be the first time I'm harvesting on any of these. But uh, that's that's my plan right now. Uh, this is dripping, so I can't open this all the way. But uh, it's working really well. I'm, I'm impressed with the bin and the way it works. Uh, I have had to make sure that it has not uh, dried out. Uh, you know, with some of the materials I've had, especially like carrots and stuff, it's, a lot of it's very dry uh, vegetable matter that I've had lately and not this fruit matter that's really wet where you have water just kind of running out the bottom like watermelon and stuff. So I have had to water this a little bit more, but it still does a lot better as far as retaining moisture than some other systems. That uh, Like the Vermibag Max is great for when you throw in something wet. It just dries out and there's no problem at all. This kind of bogs down and gets kind of wet in the bottom, but it dry stuff it's great because you do get some of the water on top but it's not overly 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 wet where you know you can't uh, mix it or turn it um, again also with these systems these bag systems with these zippers closing this up I mean I've had fruit fly issues but they don't move from bin to bin like they do with my plastic 10 gallon totes and those systems when I get fruit flies in one of them all of them are going to have it because it just goes from one bin to the next bin to the next bin to the next bin. These bins, it's self-contained. Uh, if you know, There's a couple flying around right now because I've checked some of my other bins, but I don't see any in here, which means that they have not infiltrated this, this cover or the bottom, and therefore I don't have those issues. So that's my update. I just want to get everybody back up to date on my systems right now. So this will be uh, hopefully the next time I go over this, I'm probably going to try to do a harvest from the bottom. So we'll see. All right, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe to my videos, and I'll be back again soon.